Hello everybody, it's Michelle, and I've got another simple, healthy recipe for you guys today. One of my favorite things about healthy eating and healthy cooking is that it's simple. So the less you do to it, the healthier it's going to be. And today's recipe is super, super simple. It is all fresh ingredients. We're going to be making my fresh summer tomato salad. And this is one that I actually got published in the Gooseberry Patch Fresh from the Farm Stand Cookbook, and I was so proud of that. That's on page 86, and I'll put a link below so you guys can get the book for yourself if you want to. The basic recipe is in that book, but today we're going to mix it up a little bit. I want to show you guys that it's simple to make healthy food, that you can take these recipes and you can tweak them, you can add things and swap things out to make it to your liking. So the first thing we're going to do, and the recipe calls for four tomatoes, and I've only got two today, I've got a red and a yellow. So as I told in my recipe in the cookbook, I used to do a lot of gardening, I would grow my own tomatoes, I would grow my own green onions, I even grew my own flat leaf parsley, my own cucumbers, which really aren't even in the recipe in the book, but that's one of our additions today. So I grew everything myself and it was fresh and delicious. And all I had to buy in the store for this recipe was the mozzarella cheese and the Italian dressing. And like I said, I'm adding to it a little bit today. And I'm gonna add in just a handful of baby spinach leaves and chop those up. That's mainly because when I went to the store to get fresh parsley, I mistakenly bought cilantro, and I don't really care for cilantro, so I love spinach, and I love it in everything. The more places I can incorporate spinach, the better, so I'm substituting for my fresh parsley with spinach today. But I will go ahead and add in a teaspoon of dried parsley, so I've just got that measured in a little glass there. So my total ingredients today are going to be the two tomatoes. In the recipe, it calls for four but this is one of those things that you can just make it however large of a serving that you want it to be because everything that you add in is just the portions that you want. And even with the Italian dressing, you just put however much you want on there. If you've got a smaller salad with the two versus the four that are in the book, then just use a little less. I like to just barely coat it. Whatever dressing you choose, I like the Italian flavor better on the tomatoes better than anything, but I chose the Kraft because it has no artificial flavors, no high fructose corn syrup, and no synthetic colors. So I like my food as real as I can get, and the less processed, the better. It is 60 calories per serving of two tablespoons. A lot of people may not want that. I tend to have trouble getting enough calories in a day, so I don't mind those if they're from a healthy source. You could choose a light Italian dressing. I've seen Italian dressings in the store with 35 calories per serving, 25 calories per serving, or if you're looking for non-GMO, or if you want to buy the Italian seasoning packet and mix it with your own choice of healthy oil and vinegar, go ahead and do that. It's totally up to you whatever fits your dietary needs. And then for the mozzarella cheese, I got real whole milk mozzarella cheese. And like I said, I don't mind the calories if they come from a healthy source. Your body much more easily processes real natural calories than artificial and processed anyway. So I don't mind those, but if you need to keep your calories low, go ahead and get mozzarella made from a low fat milk or skim milk but I do suggest that you keep it real, no imitation cheese. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to cut up my tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and de-seed those as well. I don't have to get the seeds completely out, and I'm cutting these about three quarters to an inch thick so I can cut those into chunks. Again, you do it to suit you. And actually the yellow tomatoes are gorgeous and they don't have a lot of seeds. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that up the way it is and put it right into my bowl. And when I was doing a lot of gardening and doing this with all homegrown ingredients, I was using all different varieties of heirloom tomatoes or cherry tomatoes or currant tomatoes that were so small and cute. It made a very beautiful salad when I was done. 
up with all the kids grown and all but one moved out. We don't do a whole lot of gardening these days, not quite as much, especially this year. We've had some construction going on on our property, so that kind of disrupted that for the year. But luckily, we've got a lot of locally grown produce in our local grocery stores here. And I like to really cut it down to where there's no more waste than that right there. The little blossom end tip there and the stem end is all that I like to dispose of. I like to make use of all of my tomato. So I'm going to switch back to my serrated knife here to slice it. Seems a little easier getting through that skin that way. And actually this one here is not too terribly seedy either. I'll go ahead and just cut out a few of those. I always like how those yellow tomatoes are not very seedy. When I grow tomatoes here at home, I like to pick green tomatoes for frying. Fried green tomatoes is a popular dish around here. And the yellow ones, if you pick those while they're green, being that they don't have a lot of seed, they fry really nicely. Switch back to my other knife now. So again, just cut these up to whatever size you like. This recipe is really just chop up what you want and dump it in a bowl. And that is all fresh off the vine. Summer tomatoes are so delicious. And I think with fresh healthy foods, there's really no need to complicate the recipe and take away from that wonderful flavor. Okay, so now for my green onions, I'm just going to slice those thinly. Put in my teaspoon of dried parsley and give it a little toss and maybe those tomatoes can help rehydrate that for me and bring it back to life a little bit. And I'm going to chop up my spinach. I like to just get my leaves all in a stack and I'm going to cut that right down the center and then slice that up. Always a nice accompaniment for tomatoes, and I just happen to have half of one left over from yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and add that into my tomato salad today. Sometimes I like to get the English cucumbers or maybe the small pickling cucumbers, in which case I just leave the peel on. But with this one, I'm going to go ahead and peel that. Make those chunks pretty close to the size of my tomatoes. And I think that's a nice ratio. So if you do the four tomatoes, like in the book, you may want to go ahead and add a whole cucumber. That would be really nice in there. So now for my mozzarella cheese, and again, this is your choice as to how much you want to add or what kind you want to use. I've even sometimes used the mozzarella sticks, like the, um, the little string cheese sticks, and then you can just slice those, and they're the perfect size. So I think I'm going to come here about a 
third of this. And the cheese, I think I'm going to cut into a little bit smaller cubes than the cucumber and the tomato. So now I'm going to put my Italian dressing. Just drizzle a little bit of that over. That may have been an eighth of a cup, I'd say. And that's all there is to it. Nice, fresh, healthy vegetables keep it light. The addition of the cheese helps make it a little more filling, so it's a good snack to hold you over till dinner time. Or you can even use this as a side dish at dinner. This is great for summer cookouts or something like that. And you can add in whatever vegetables you choose. So I will include a recipe at the end of the video for you guys today for the variation that I made today. And if you want the original recipe, I'll leave you guys a link also to that Gooseberry Patch book in the description below. And that was on page 86. So leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Tell me what you would add if you were making this salad or what you would swap out or just omit. Just use natural, healthy ingredients and it's going to be great. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Healthy Minds and Bodies. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have all of the links in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.